Yo. Yeah. We back at it, man. Back at it. We are on. We are on. We are on. So, um, apparently there was a whistleblow regarding FBI in January 6th. Um, you remember January 6th? You know what that date is. Yeah. And um, there was a whistleblower. I don't know if he's an FBI informant or he knows intel on FBI stuff regarding January 6th, but apparently Russell Brand uh, is going to speak out. He's speaking about it in this video, so we're going to do a reaction to it and see what he's talking about. <clears throat> I saw the words whistleblow. I'm like, I don't even know what they're talking about. Let's look at it. Once we become hypnotized and bound in bureaucracy, we're just sheep, cattle to them. For decades after the FBI was caught spying on Martin Luther King Jr. and abusing its powers for political ends, Democrats emphasized strong constraints on domestic spying and the importance of whistleblowers. Mm. Now Democrats are savaging these former public servants as threats to national security. Why is that? Well, presumably because their interests have changed and they're utilizing these deep state agencies in order to control the population mm. and the narrative. But let's find out. At least two FBI whistleblowers are being persecuted for concerns over how the January 6th protesters were treated. Mm. Now, it can be difficult to talk about the January 6th mm. protests and some of the theories and ideas that surround it, but it seems clear that the FBI had targeted and surveilled protesters from January the 6th, but also George Floyd protesters. It seems that it doesn't matter what the issue is per se. Per se, Yana. But whether <laughs> or not your protest is at odds with the interests of the powerful that they represent and operate on behalf of. I.e., what I'm saying, in case you haven't picked it up yet, is put aside your political differences and start working together for God's sake. Yay. Steve Friend That's expressed cool. concerns about the FBI's use of SWAT teams to arrest January 6th subjects. Within a month of these disclosures, the FBI removed Friend's security clearance and removed him from active duty. Garrett O'Boyle disclosed that the FBI pressured him to violate the law by opening domestic violent extremism investigations without sufficient basis. Mm. In addition to an indefinite unpaid suspension, the FBI I initiated a campaign of humiliation and intimidation to punish and pressure me to resign. Friend testified. The FBI's campaign of personal destruction included leaking Friend's private medical information to a New York Times reporter. Yo, did they say that they would get that the government would get so down and dirty with you that they would if you go against them, we're going to embarrass you and we're going to embarrass you to the far most extent to where your life will always be tarnished if we release your own personal information out there. That's messed up. Because, you know, it's, it's personal information on, on, on people that you don't want that stuff being on the world, your medical history. You don't want none of that stuff being for the world to see. That's private. Mm, it is. But I do believe that you do have those parties that want, they feel like if you're going to go rogue, then we are going to either hurt you or we're going to embarrass you and tarnish your name. That's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. That's for messed speaking up. Out. That's what that's saying. Mm -hmm. Before you start listening to that whistleblowing, you might want to know a thing or two about this guy's verrucas and his troubling athlete's foot. His feet are a goddamn mess. Yeah, but what about all this whistleblowing? Don't worry about what's up here. Worry about what's down there. <laughs> FBI whistleblower Marcus Allen got in trouble with his superiors at the FBI, not for peddling conspiracy theories, but rather for sharing accurate news articles, including one apparently based on reporting by the New York Times. These guys, you can't trust them. They're sharing articles that are true. Well, actually, look, we wrote this one. Yeah, but, you know, listen, did I tell you about his feet? They stink. Now, if we That's are going to continue to confront corruption Lego. of this nature, we are going to need some sponsors. We're obviously not going to get no, much no, support no. from the state. We're obviously going to be smeared and attacked. That's why there's a version of me coming right at you to suggest to you a product or service which I heartily endorse, probably give you a discount for, and will try to make funny. Stay with us. Law enforcement had a far greater visibility into the assault on the Capitol, wrote the Times last fall, even as it was taking place than was previously known. Allen's intentions were plainly constructed. He'd apparently forwarded an article to other FBI investigators to caution them that if they were looking at footage, they should be aware that there were informants in the crowd. Court mm. documents indicate mm. that there are at least eight FBI informants, known as CHSs for Confidential Human Informants, in the Proud Boys, which was one of the groups that organized the January 6th protest. Mm. There is evidence that the FBI
FBI also had CHS in the Oath Keepers, another Germany the Sixth activist group. That's really interesting, isn't it? Because if you think of how you're told the story of January the Sixth, it's like Donald Trump caused it, his yeah, rhetoric correct, was incendiary, correct, look correct. at those tweets, it's mm-hmm. terrible. Correct. And then when you yes. see people, usually on the internet, alternative independent media like this, some of the people that we share this space with saying, there were FBI informants, and the mainstream media go, oh, that's ridiculous, that's a conspiracy theory. Well, this whistleblower is saying, no, there were FBI informants within those groups. Mm. Former FBI supervisory intelligence analyst George Hill told the subcommittee that when the Boston office asked for the video footage from January the 6th protest, the Washington field office said they could not give access to the 11,000 hours of video footage available because there may be undercover officers, known as UCs, Mm. or CHSs, confidential human sources, on those videos whose identity we need to protect. And it wasn't just the FBI who had undercover informants and agents in the crowd. There were undercover agents and informants from other law enforcement agencies, including the Washington, D.C. Metro Police, who were acting like Trump supporters. Four more years! Donald Trump! I'm actually FBI. Oh, I'm actually the Washington, D.C. Does anyone here even like Donald Trump? I don't like him. Have you seen how orange he is? And his hands are a bit little. Indeed, there may have been hundreds of undercover government agents and informants, both local and federal, in the January 6th crowd. According to one January 6th witness, there were 100 to 200 Secret Service agents alone at the Capitol before and during the breach of police barriers. Hundreds. I feel like what that was, man, a lot of those, the agents were the ones that were like, I believe those were the ones that make sure that everyone got inside the the White House so you could do certain things. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, usually there's, if they are behind that or if the government is involved with you doing something like that, there's an agenda that they know once you do this, we can do this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it still forms into the level of security oh, and um, being able to, you know, keep tabs of people wherever they are in the world. Mm-hmm. Hundreds? That doesn't seem like the world we're trying to create. Can we get to a point where we have a degree of objectivity around these matters rather than, okay, this story, before I get involved, is it my side or is it the other side? Well, this Mm -hmm. one is actually your side. Well, then it's a disgrace. It should be stopped. Oh, it's actually the other side. Oh, well, look, people have got to do what they've got to do. Of course there are informants. No one's got any objectivity or clarity or good faith in these conversations anymore. One court filing alleges that there are at least 20 FBI assets at the Capitol. Another court document from the Proud Boys trial suggests there are at least 40 <coughs> undercover informants or agents doing surveillance among defendants on January the 6th. So this isn't just hearsay at this point because there are whistleblowers testifying in front of Congress. Mm-hmm. So it seems like there's the need for a conversation, a conversation that people are unwilling to have. And even that suggests that particular outcomes are likely. So you get all these other agencies in government that have people who are corrupt in leadership positions. And then you got this Congress who is just overseeing this and you got these people who are doing the right thing, mm-hmm. supposed to be doing, you know, the right thing. It just makes it seem like it's just so off balance. Mm-hmm. You know, thank goodness we still have great people in there who are truly working for um, the government for it to, to make it a better place. And I'm not saying all of them are, but are, I are upright, but there, I feel like quite a few of them are. But there's a lot of, it's so sad. When I was reading in the, um, I think this back when I was, which I'm going to start reading again, Behold a Pale Horse, they were talking about how many levels in the government that you don't know and there's levels in the government that the president don't always know see that's messed up In a motion to compel disclosure of all confidential human sources of homeland security, the defense alleges that in addition to the eight confirmed FBI CHSs, the D.C. Metro Police had at least 13 undercover plainclothes agents, and there mm. appear to have been some 19 CHSs on January the 6th belonging <coughs> to an agency called Homeland Security Investigations. There's even agencies that are so secret, we don't know that they exist, exist. and they're yeah, there. Say. Donald Trump! Donald Trump! You are under arrest. I'm arresting him. No, I'm arresting him. No, we're going to arrest him. I'm going to pretend to be his friend and then arrest him in a couple of months after I've got him to come up with a terrorist. Right, that's what I was just thinking. thinking One such individual is alleged to have been in the crowd screaming, stop the steal, stop the steal, and pushing the protesters toward the Capitol building. Boo, stop the steal, stop the steal. Come on. on. That is so crazy. He he got an earpiece in with a Trump, with a MAGA hat on, talking about, stop the steal. He's like, Roger, get him. You go around the corner, bring him up to the front. Come on, bring him to the front. We need him to bust through the doors. That's so messed up. We need him to bust through. 
Yes. So what happens to the whistleblowers? Do they have whistleblower protection? No. Because one of the videos we said that the guy was like, there's, they, you know, put him in protection. But is that everybody? Do you take the protection? I believe there's a you lot of people. ask for there's, it? There's a lot of people sitting in protection right now. Lots of people sitting in protection right now. Because if you win, you're going to be like this. Oh. You get on an airplane, you go to the bathroom, you go Don't to the store. Don't nobody like that. That's scary. It is scary. Too many in the FBI aren't willing to sacrifice the hard right over the easy wrong. I may not use the phrase hard right in this context. They'll view that against you. <laughs> I think we have to follow the hard right. Well, yes. Do you see? This is the problem with these guys. They're all hard right. No, I'm incorrect. Too late. You're already in prison. They see what becomes of whistleblowers, O'Boyle said. This is by design. Mm. It creates an Orwellian atmosphere that silences opposition and discussion. Mm. Perhaps that's what's happening more broadly in our culture. Ask yourself mm -hmm. the question. Do you yep. imagine that these powerful elites really care about what they would deem and term vulnerable people from a variety of backgrounds who, in my view, all have the right to freedom of expression wherever mm -hmm. they are on the political spectrum, whether it's traditional or progressive? Freedom means freedom, and it certainly means other people's freedom. Or are they interested in creating a climate of silence and control? Let me know in the mm -hmm. chat. O'Boyle said that the FBI's action mm -hmm. against him had rendered him and his family homeless and that they could not access their personal effects, See, including clothing, is. because they were in FBI storage when he was suspended. But throughout the mm. hearing, it was obvious that the Democrats were trying to distract and derail the subcommittee, refusing to engage with the whistleblower's allegations that the FBI has intentionally exaggerated the threat of domestic terrorism through padded statistics and illegal investigations. Padded statistics, mm. illegal investigations, My. prejudice and bias. That doesn't sound like the America that we've been living in for the last couple of years. Mm. What's more, the hearing made clear that the FBI is working with the Democrats, which underscores the agency's increasing partisan Democrat mm. Stacey Plaskett, who savaged the FBI whistleblowers, previously threatened journalist Matt Taibbi with prison for supposedly lying to Congress under oath. Do you mm. remember that sham kangaroo congressional hearing where Matt Taibbi and Michael Schellenberger, good men, good journalists, were subject to criticisms, accusations, and threatened eventually with jail time simply for presenting facts? It seems like there's certain information mm. that people just don't want out there. There. The right. Dunham report last week revealed that the FBI's Russia collusion investigation was cooked up by Hillary Clinton to denigrate Donald mm. Trump by tying him to Russia as a means of distracting the public from her use of a private email. I believe that. Yeah. <clears throat> I believe well that. could be possible. That's right. And then despite knowing it was bogus, the FBI went ahead and launched the ill-fated Crossfire Hurricane <coughs> investigation while dropping four probes into the Clinton Foundation. So some things they really investigate, other things they ignore. That's not objective justice, is it? This reveals an agenda. You can just sort of see the outline of the agenda from all of the actions and behaviours. On Friday, a Pfizer court order revealed that the FBI has been misusing a surveillance tool almost 300,000 times in 2020 to 2021 including mm. doing 23,000 searches on January the 6th suspects and 20,000 searches on a congressional candidate's donors. This wow. is what we continually say to you. As long as they have the ability to surveil you and look at your information, then the possibility exists that at some point you will do something that's at odds with the establishment. And given that there are no principles and given that this is an ongoing circular problem, as our man there earlier described, it could come to you at some point. You know, when it, they, people say, if you've done nothing wrong, you've got nothing to hide, what they should now say is, as long as you're willing to continually obey centralized authority, then you've got nothing to worry about. Mm. The FBI also refused to comply with a subpoena from the House Oversight Committee to hand over documents alleging that Joe Biden accepted bribes to change US policy while he was vice president. Wow. In the light of just one week of FBI shame, the latest Harvard Harris poll showing deep public mistrust in the FBI comes as no surprise. Not right? only do 69% of voters believe the FBI violated its own standards in the Russia collusion probe, 70% are concerned the Bureau will interfere in future elections. So mm. now you know, when people wow. say deep state, this is what they're talking about. When they say deep state collusion, they're talking about stories like this. While mm. the January 6th stuff is still under investigation, based on the testimony of these whistleblowers and some of the information here about informants and assets in the crowd, it seems to me that a conversation is required before we march forward in the way that we did with the Russiagate stuff into making conclusions that might be convenient to a certain set of agenda. But that's right. just what I think. Why don't you let me know what you think? Wow. Okay. Yo. Wow. He gave a lot of good keeps, information. It just keeps going back to corruption. 
unethical practices, so and who, in the end, control. Who is the checks and balancing system for the FBI? Is it the DIA or is the DIA under or above the FBI? Are they like brother and sister organizations? Probably the Bilderberg Group. Whoever the one that's got, got the most money, I don't know. But Who they, checks and balances the FBI? Because they seem like they they just do whatever they want to do. I, I don't think anybody. That's crazy. There's got to be checks and balances. That's the whole point of different, different branches of government for checks and balances. I don't think anybody. I don't think nobody's changed the balance. The, but it's, because people, I'm sure it has to be multiple levels of authorization, authorization to let authorization FBI informants be out there in the um, crowd. That's that ain't just one decision. That's multiple. Because what I keep hearing to say, let them out. Go what out I keep hearing this. in these multiple videos that we've been doing in these last few videos is that they do what they want to do. They got their own, and then say and they then say live how they want to live, play how they want to play, dance how they want to dance, kick and then snap. Oh. <laughs> The government is the Adams family. But they do whatever they want to do. And then when someone finds the fault and their whistle is blown, they try to turn the story on you to make it appear Absolutely. that you have done something wrong instead of having them or someone tied in government that's higher official remember we exposed. Saw that, remember we saw that video about the guy was talking about um, Joe Biden and his practices and it talked about how instead of going after them they start questioning him well yeah he's a whistleblower yeah that's the one who blew the whistle yeah they will they, they're coming after you and he is was a u.s or he is a u.s was a u.s attorney he was a u.s attorney how do you get any more higher up in you know you when don't. it comes to law working for the government the government will eat their own young I'm you know like I mean? oh my god it's just crazy i'm sorry y'all this mango chili is just so good yeah somebody could have saved it after the record i but, can't um, help it it's all I hear in the car. <laughs> mm, a little piece stuck in my teeth right here. And you got a little piece stuck in your teeth. It's like this. I got something stuck in my teeth? No. no I'm saying that's what happens when oh. you get that part stuck in your molar. I don't have no part stuck in my molar. Okay. Anyway, y'all. Anyway, man. There's got to be some checks and balances. There's just no way. That's what happens when somebody, a group, has too much power and unlimited amount of money but you know me on money i don't know what happens to man because it's like when these people go under oath and they go and they they make it they join this because many people they have this like it's like a golden like a dream that they want to work for the fbi and so when they get there do they decide okay now i'm about to be corrupt listen how does that happen do you remember i almost took a position with the fbi i remember yep i I thought it was a gbi GBI, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. GBI, well, Ge- it's similar. Georgia. It's similar, yeah. but Georgia. more for, for the state. Yeah. Uh-huh. And um, I mean, it's, it's we were great. like, but we started thinking we were, like at first we were thinking about, we were thinking about a lifestyle and stuff like that, you know, as far as living it would have been straight. But then we came together. Remember, we started talking like, what if this happened and what if this happened? But and I would have to be subject to this and that if I joined that. So I was like, nah. I remember that. If I would have done that, I would have right. I, if I if I would have <laughs> took that, if I would have took that, took on to and got onto that role and took that role, I would have been probably still working that now until retirement. But then, anyway. But yeah, but I, I just said that to say nothing is wrong with you know those are great positions and careers. Those I've are been careers IT for police. people to have, and they make they make lots of money. I know they make lots of money. But how does a person decide to work for the government? And then, do they go in with ulterior motives, yeah. or do they start off good and then turn bad? I just want to say there are more people that start off good. I just can't believe. I think good is always going to power overpower evil, even though the I media agree. doesn't portray it to be that way. They want us to, you know, because positive news doesn't last. No. I think boring. Brian Tracy or Jim Rowan had mentioned that there was a positive newspaper that went out and nobody bought it. Yeah. And it didn't last. Nobody wants to Nobody hear wants only positive. the good stuff. You want, you want the, the stuff that's that scares crazy. You. That's what sells. You want, so, the, you want the stuff that scare you. But I just don't believe that, you know, everybody starts off bad and then, you know, that, that just goes in with ulterior motives. How, yeah. But I just want to know how do they change and how does it become so corrupt? It's like this is unheard of. Unheard of. All right. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't take a nosedive, but comment down in the section below. If you want some more. We'll see you on the next one. Man, giveaway is going to keep running. Keep running. It's in the comment we section. We ain't judging. Just, Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying.